how-to video and today I am starting on Etsy because I am going to show y'all how I print other shops kits that I buy. So I'm on Paper Crown Planners. I'm on one of her listings right now um, and I just picked out this Valentine's one because it's actually one that I have bought um, and I have on my computer and I actually need to print it. So I thought I would use like a real life example and not like just print something to print something but actually print something that I'm going to use. So um, I absolutely love this little Valentine's kit. So when you go on a printable listing, most shops that are printable will put it very big somewhere that it's printable. Um, but the other way you know for sure that it's printable, it says instant download and there also isn't any shipping quota. They don't give you uh, a price for shipping because obviously they're not shipping you an item. So you're going to add to basket, check out like you usually do, um, and then for some reason for me I'll get an email and I can use my link that way but it won't actually let me download it unless I go into my purchases. So if you go here and you go to your purchases and reviews it'll open up all of your other purchases. Um, this just happens to be the purchase that I purchased this specific listing on. It's right here. So this is what it looks like. And you're going to download your files. Obviously I have already downloaded this. I bought this one with another shop as well. Um, but it is right here. So this is the specific one. Paper Crown Planner for a lot of hers. They're too big. So when you download them it's actually a PDF that you open and she has the Google Drive. Um, so for mine, I don't know, it tells me that it's too big, so I just downloaded. I know there's no viruses or whatever. So I just download it. And I will let y'all know that I am outside again today because it is just too beautiful to be inside. So when you open up your download, you're going to have all of these different folders. I only keep the silhouette folders and I only keep the girl that I am going to use. So I am brunette, so I use the brunette girl. I do keep both the glitter headers and the script headers, even though I usually use the script headers. Um, but I do keep them both. So here, so when they're done downloading, you can open them all up. So I have all of my pages open in Silhouette Studio. Now, it depends on what I have in my leftovers, but usually I will not print either this page or this page. It just depends what I have that will match this kit. Now, I know that I have a bunch of pink stuff. Uh, not sure about the gray stuff, but I probably won't print this page. I will probably print well, I will definitely print one. I'll print two. Um, I'll print four because I want all of these pattern boxes and these little three check boxes. I've been liking those. And then obviously I'll print five because I need my checklists and my bottom washi and my date dots, my date covers, all that good stuff. So I will print those. So I probably won't print this one. But yeah, so I will print all of these and get these out on paper. Um, one thing about Paper Crown Planner is her uh, registration marks come smaller and wider. So if your silhouette, Cricut, like whatever you're cutting on um, is finicky. Mine can sometimes be finicky, but I found that if I put just a shit ton of lights on it, it'll cut just fine so I leave them how they are um, but if you need bigger registration marks because your machine just won't read them you can go here um, where your page setup is and you this is where we turn on registration marks down here if you press restore default 
it'll make them bigger. Now, obviously the issue with this is that it won't cut your outside lines. When I started printing kits, I didn't actually see this green line, the green line around your page. This, I do the same thing that we did like with scripts and icons. I do cardstock with this, so it'll print out a sheet for me. When I first started, I was cutting those up by hand because I didn't understand Silhouette Studio and I didn't understand how to do it. So I would just cut it all sticker paper and it would show me where it cut because obviously it would cut through the sticker paper but not the whole thing. So I would just take out my paper trimmer and cut it. So if you are cutting this by hand, these don't matter. But if you want it to cut, it won't cut obviously because it's on the other side of your registration marks. So we're just going to undo that. So I leave them like this. Um, if you put, like I said, a shit ton of lights on it, I actually put two lights on my machine so they'll read correctly, and, like, that's just what I do. So, we're gonna print all of these out, and then... printed everything. I have this sheet on my silhouette. So what we're going to do is we're going to send it to our silhouette machine. So if you haven't watched the very first how to, when I was showing you guys how to do icons, I went really into depth about like how to put it on your mat, where to put your mat in your silhouette machine, how to put it in your silhouette machine. This is just going over, um, and this is just going over and I'm assuming that you guys know all of that stuff. So it's in my silhouette machine. Again, I don't ever do simple. I always go to line. If you have left your registration marks like this, then you can do the outside line. So I, oopsies, that was the correct way. So for my red, those are my stickers. So I want to make sure that that is my sticker paper. And then green, I do cardstock so it actually cuts the complete sheet out. And then you're just going to press send and it's going to cut. Alright y'all, so there is my finished kit, all cut and printed, or I guess printed and cut, that's the order in which I did it, <laughs> but it is all done, everything looks pretty good, pretty spot on, and I'm just super excited for 2020 to be over, because I'll get to use this in 2021. Looking forward to bigger and better things. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.